Our next leadership grant project that starts off our second half is rising over obstacles together with STEM or roots. This is a second year leadership grant project as well, which has been creating fun, hands-on engineering projects after school for middle schoolers to encourage interest in STEM fields. Please welcome Roots. Hello, my name is Katie. Hi, I'm Tori. Hi, my name is Leali. Hi, I'm Andrew. Hi, I'm Sam, and we are Roots, or Rising Over Obstacles Through STEM. All right, uh, I'm just going to talk. You guys can hear me, right? I don't need to, like, step up to the mic. All right, All right. so, uh, fine. So, I don't like talking into mics. So, uh, our inspiration for starting Roots began when we came across some troubling data, and that is, that according to recent surveys, especially one called the Lemelson MIT Invention Index, 60% of young adults don't plan on going into STEM fields, and then of those 60%, 95% state that the reasons they don't plan on going into STEM fields are either A, they don't know much about STEM fields, B, feel that they are mostly unprepared in school to enter STEM fields, or C, they believe STEM fields to be too challenging. So all the reasons for, go for not going into STEM fields are preventable. We believe, oh yeah, <laughs> we believe the easiest and most effective way to prevent this is by introducing them to STEM fields when they get, when they, from a young age. So, um, so that way, when they do this, they will feel more interested to learn more and at least feel more comfortable and less intimidated by STEM fields when they get older. In order to, that. Uh, in order to accomplish this, we created an after-school club um, that meets weekly and has original lesson plans that we created for fifth through eighth graders, which exposes them to STEM fields and gives them a greater understanding and makes them feel more comfortable with STEM in general. So this autumn, uh, we started Roots at our third uh, elementary school, my neighborhood elementary school, Helen C. Pierce, which is over uh, by Clark and Bryn Mawr. And uh, right here you can see some pictures of our prototyping lesson plan, um, which is very similar to the one that you heard about earlier. We challenge kids to think of a problem, any problem that they face in their everyday lives, and then to create a prototype or solution of said problem. And uh, out of all of the lesson plans that we've administered at Roots, my favorite moment um, of the entire semester was when one of my students came up to me and he told me the only reason he enjoys coming to school on a Monday is so that he can go to Roots afterwards, which I think is just really speaks volumes about how much the kids love our program and are impacted by it. So I teach 20 middle school students at Uxa School, which is an all girls Muslim school. I have two teachers that supervise the sessions and two to three student volunteers that help me with anything I need. So, so far, um, one lesson plan that the students have really enjoyed is the island lesson plan, in which each group had to design a self-sustaining island. This lesson plan was really meant for a day, but because the girls were so into it, I had to extend it for another three days. And um, by looking at their, their work here, one can tell the hard work and creativity, creativity they really put into it. An eighth grader came up and told me that Roots has really improved her physics skills and has really taught her how to think outside the box. So students really enjoy stepping out of their comfort zones in order to learn new concepts. And I feel blessed knowing I'm providing a better opportunity for the students in order to make the most out of the education. And I feel humble um, knowing that I'm better preparing these girls for success in the future. All right, and so with so much success and with such expansion, there come a lot of challenges as well. And the first thing that happened, I guess, for us is that we are a lot bigger than last year. We have around 14 kids. And so this means that we have over eight neighborhoods and around 10 high schools represented amongst us. And you know, this is wonderful how, about how versatile, how varied we are. It also meant that finding one place and one time for us to meet every week was a lot harder. And this forced us to become a lot more effective communicators, a lot more um, efficient organizers as well. 
Second off, um, we had for the first time competition from other clubs at schools that we were teaching at. So for example, at South Loop, a chemistry club was started at the exact same, exact same time and day as Roots was. And so for the first time, we were forced to kind of fight and try to recruit um, our old students from last year. And so that was really interesting for us because we were forced to not only realize how important communication is amongst ourselves, but communication with the people we hope to serve, you know, the students and their parents, is just as, if not more, vital to our success. And um, thirdly, um, we actually were hoping to expand to five and not four schools this year. And this happened because um, we, we reached out to many schools. But um, even after emails and visiting them and calling, we received um, more than a few, less than enthusiastic, if any, uh, reaction to our proposals to start roots at their schools. And this, um, we learned a lot from this because we were able to find out that, you know, something that we find exciting and enthralling and wonderful, other schools have different perspectives and priorities. And we had to learn when to move on and how to really um, succeed and continue to thrive after um, dealing with such rejection, per se. And so that was a really good lesson I think all of us learned. And Thrive we did, actually. Um, so since our establishment in 2011, we have been able to impact over 70 kids in four, high schools to, in four elementary schools to date. And this year alone, we've been able to create an entirely new 14-week Roots curriculum. And that was only by putting in over 250 um, service learning hours from everyone here. So that was lovely. And something that was really great um, also is that Roots was invited to speak at a TEDx Windy City conference the, earlier this February. And here we spoke about Roots and about community service to over 650 people in a full auditorium. And this experience we were very humbled by and very, very grateful to have. You know, just being able to share a stage with um, so many great speakers and with so much help from Maria and the ITM West Scottish Academy, we were really inspired to continue what we're doing and hopefully try to expand to try expand what we're doing as well to other people. This, however, is not the end of Roots. We hope to make Roots an overarching organization with individual school chapters so that high school students can really get involved in their community in either lesson planning, teaching, or doing their own individual fundraising um, within their own communities, which is really important because we've become so wide and across so many different schools. And this will really help us encourage other teens to get involved in their communities, which is obviously a very important part of this project. And we would just like to thank Connie and Maria and everyone at the um, IIT Boeing Scholars Academy for helping us all year long. And we, um, we would also like to thank our mentors, Grant and Wah, for everything they have done for us this year. Thank you.